Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? I've got a bit of a different video for you guys today and it consists of using velocity and pan and crop to make some pretty awesome transitions in your videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I already have a music track down below. I've picked the section of the track that I want to have the pan and crop sequence combined with velocity in so it has a lot of interesting beats and fucking shit like that and so what we're going to do straight away is we're going to drag a clip in we don't need this bottom bit so delete that we only need like a partial bit of each clip so just hit s there and s there and then delete those two so you have this little bit here hit the pan and crop button there um, make sure you have this one turned off and this one turned on so it looks exactly like that hold shift and then drag this up to that corner and then come in about five spaces so go one two three four five on the arrow keys on your keyboard hit restore uh, someone's fucking, sorry someone's fucking messaging me uh, then come over to this end and do the exact same thing but you're going to drag this down to this corner instead and then go and then go count back it's five so one two three four five Hit restore and your first clip, well, the first stage of the first clip is complete. Now I'm going to do the exact same for all of these little spaces and then I will be right back. And I am back and as you can see I've done the pan and crop sequence for all of these sort of uh, clips now and I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like so far. So as you can see it looks pretty cool already but we can make it look even better. So in my clips uh, what I've done is I've made this little, um, I've done alternate beats. So I've done one, I've skipped a beat, I've done another, I've skipped a beat. And that means I can go back into this pan and crop and hit restore here. Now I've got a little bit here where I can go one, hold on a sec, uh, click down here first, go one, two, three. Hit restore, go one, two, three, hit restore, and go to this middle, middle one, and just hold shift again, actually you make sure you click this one, hold shift, and drag it in to what's around, around here, something decent enough to make a sort of bump in the track. Yeah, you see that? I'll play it one more time. Right, and I'll be back in one second again, I'm going to do that for the rest of these clips. I should have done it first, but I was unprepared for this video, so fuck it! And I'm back once again, and I'll quickly show you what it looks like for one more time. So, as you can see, it sort of adds a bit more flair to it, it makes it look a little more interesting and appealing to the eye. So we are now going to add velocity, so shift click this first one, shift click this last one. Oh, while you're here you might as well, while you have them all selected, right click, go down the switches, disable resample, and also right click, uh, go down to insert, remove, and put in uh, velocity. So basically disable resample gets rid of the little blurred frames that are in between, which are really fucking annoying, which Sony Vegas fucking puts in by some reason you can't even select a setting to turn it off permanently. I don't think someone correct me if I'm wrong. So what we're going to do, because these clips are, I believe, 60 frames a second, we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points in. Put a dot here and take this dot down to 50. Take this one up, right click on it, put fast fade. Then we are going to come to this end one here, not the middle one, the end one. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, put another dot here, put another one here, drag this one up to here, right click, slow fade. Now it's gonna sp it's gonna speed up. Um, it's gonna speed up here at the start and then speed up here, but it's gonna be slow for this bit. But as you can see, it does not run very smooth when I have the video. Um, so, well, there'll be a video at the start where you guys can actually see this. And um, I'm going to do all of this and then I will be back again. And I'm back once again. Now, there's only really one more thing we can do to improve this, and that is if we come down here 
we right click, we insert a video track, we go up here onto this little green roll of film here, we put multiply mask, uh, we go to media generator, go down to solid color, grab a white one, and put it over the track, uh, cut it at the end, hit S to cut, hit delete. Now we have this sort of deal, and if we now click on here, you have to remember to multiply mask, and we're going to put some black bars on it. Uh, that's about right. Don't do it too thin, don't do it too thick. Um, around here is sort of perfect, it works well, and it gives it more of a cinematic feel. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, all that fucking good shit that all these faggots tell you to do. And I'll see you in the next video. I believe it is a Skyrim video. So, I will see you there. Peace.